Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel And I know you know what house you in so we don't even have to talk about it We're gonna go move on into our crazy segment we call Why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business But you know I can can and I can can and, and, and I can can and I will Yes this story is who is more than scandalous and it's definitely marvelous yes honey and i was over there at hustling wise and he like i said he always tripped me out with that damn scroll of that piece of paper crackling and he getting down there <laughs> saying what's did it then what's that and hell i ain't never heard it being said out there but he just go on and some of them he just be tripping me out and i find it interesting i'm like okay let me you know he missed some things that i wanted to say so i guess i'll say it on my channel child he over there saying that bravo may give dennis a spinoff of this mess of him and Portia and it's gonna be his show do you believe it or don't you believe it <laughs> and I hope it's true cuz I'm like man what Portia meant for bad the Lord turned it in for good for Dennis or you know this is where I look at it cuz both of them need to straighten up and fly right he need to well I guess he's doing what he should do it's just to sow his oaks until he can get it right and be with the right woman even if it's going back to Portia maybe Portia would have matured a little bit more after she sees that he is moving on doing his own thing making money off her name and the opportunity she had provided for him by being on the show with her on the Real Housewives of Atlanta then getting her spinoff which what I don't care nobody say was a total train wreck and it's crashing and burning as we speak and with me just saying in that little piece of part of it <coughs> you know I had said I wasn't going to uh, review her book because it was a waste of time and I wasn't that far from the mark it is a hot mess the whole series of her show is a hot mess and um it, it's, it's just not favorable for her no matter how people want to say you know I shouldn't be talking about my own kind we shouldn't be doing we should be uplifting each other and all this craziness I'm like we are we uplift each other when we doing good when we doing bad we need to chastise and set some standards out here that they may have forgotten about and just encourage them to do more things that's honorable and and respectable is what i'm saying i i want every black woman uh black man women in general to go and get what they need and they feel they deserve but make it something honorable you know because we all fall short and we all uh some of us do get in situations or have opportunities that they think is sent from god and blessing them in this way but in the entertainment business ain't nothing good about it unless you're doing good you ain't selling your soul to your craft and and doing ungodly unspeakable things and then want to play it down saying you know well it's just a show it i just did that to this and no because Portia can go to school she can get her degree she can sell real estate because she know a he whole hell of a lot of people up in the industry i mean she could do a lot of things she could be on tv being a a, a a newscaster or something to a degree far as entertainment you know you ain't got to be no true journalist to do that but it's a lot of things Portia can do that sit up here and look like she needs to seek work over at the Zeus Network uh, because you know other reputable uh, companies are not gonna put up with her because they see how she don't act crazy on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as her own spinoff and just, like I said if she won't hurt somebody or she wants to hurt herself then just show herself acting crazy but don't bring your whole family and their uh negative dynamics on the show because then we're gonna say well that's why you act as crazy as you do because you don't know no better you were taught wrong you know and even when you know you were taught wrong you still try not to uh rise above all of that nonsense you just capitalize on it and made your money through it and now uh it just is what it is but one of my family members had said that she wanted me if i would consider 
uh, buying Portia's book and uh, reading it and giving us a blow by blow on what was going on. And I told I would, and I was kind of trying to search for uh, her post. I want to say her first name was Caroline or Carol, but I can't remember what video it was under. But, um, you know, it wasn't a bad request, and it wasn't an unthinkable request either. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe. Let's just, let me just see. Let me think about it a little more. So I was out doing my little shopping on, you know, the internet. Because, you know, I ain't going out there nowhere, no how, amongst nobody. But this stuff out here, uh, flowing freely. Um, and um, I went on over there to Barnes & Nobles just to see how Portia Book was doing. and Because at first, when it first came out, I think it was like $28 or $30. So I'm like, then I'm like, oh, hell to the no, no, no. Ain't paying that kind of money for that book when I know it's gonna be a, a mess. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm still trying to search for a name, but can't seem to get it, guys. But I went on Barnes and Noble's uh website, pulled up Portia Book Child, it's 50% off. <laughs> that book is $13, okay? And I wish I was well enough. To go pay thirteen dollars, which probably would have been maybe fourteen, maybe fourteen and uh half or fifteen or something like that. Well, not half or fifteen, but maybe fifteen dollars total with tax, because I had to go to um uh, um uh, Carolina Street. If anybody knows where there is, kind of like in the Decatur area, um of going to the bookstore, and I said forget it. I just go on and pay the thirteen plus the seven ninety nine or forty nine. It was uh, requesting me to do so for shipping. So I still got it under $20. So I purchased it. So look for that. For me to be doing my honest reviews on each chapter. Because if I'm going to give her money for her book. Which initially I said I wasn't going to do. But since one of my family members said. Miss Deb, go on and do that thing. Go on and do, let's see what you can do and tell us about this book. So I take the hit. And, you know, I'll get it back in my reviews and stuff. So I won't take it as a loss. And then when I finish with it, I'll just put it on the bookshelf or put it on the coffee table. And I'll give it to my daughter and let her read it or not read it and see what she want to do with it. But, so look forward to that. It should come in on the 6th, I think it said. January the 6th so maybe it'll come sooner but um, it would have been a good time to read it while I'm under the weather and I'm not working uh, but this is what it is but I just thought I'll tell you all that now I'll stop for my rumbling and get into why I was doing this feature on Mr. Dennis McKinley well like I said from Hustler Housewives or Housewives Hustlers um, I talked about him and I've shown a picture of him on my channel through one of my videos. He had broke a story on, like I said, Dennis uh, was given an opportunity by Bravo, allegedly, to possibly get his own spinoff show. And pretty much tell his life of being in entertainment business as well as being a uh, fruitful, prosperous uh, businessman in the I would say nightclub industry, but he owns um, some joints around here, some hot dog uh, king, hot dog factory king, or something like that, uh, at different locations. He owns a few of those, and he owns a crew lounge, uh, bar and lounge place uh, where you can go out. I guess you can have like little appetizers and drinks and just chill. And he uh, might have some eatable or edible. Um, uh, marijuana stuff I think he also does uh, in his uh, crew lounge uh, so that's going to be exciting to see and I know I will be tuning in and definitely doing reviews but I also think it's going to show a little of his life with PJ and him being a single dad and how he's co-parenting more so probably with Portia we don't need to see anything concerning um 
Mr. Simon. We don't need to give him no press, no play, no none of that. You know, I need to just see him and Portia co-parenting. Because that's really what it should have been about from the beginning. Not this blended family shit she's trying to put in place with, you know, everybody from her cousins, her aunts, uh, her, the mamas. It, it should have just been about her and Dennis and how they going to co-parent uh, within, you know, uh, the PJ going from house to house and then we could have really saw him getting into his life with you know dating different women and what type of women and uh, he was dating and what kind of financial background they come from and just, just show us what kind of women Dennis do like besides nice looking women with great bodies and and all of that see what they do from that side and see how he court women uh, and then you know you know, he got to go drop the baby off the Porsche or whatnot, and then their little brief encounters. That would have been something. So, in a sense, he did capitalize real well uh, with being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and signing up with Porsche, poss possibly and plausibly, as a stunt when it first aired. You know, or them getting together, saying they can make money together. Let's do this reality show and, you know, make hand money over fist. But he kept his eye on Portia. Because he know how Portia throw people under the bus. And make herself look good. So I think the Taylor's kind of turned. When she tried to call herself. Going to turn on Dennis. And make him not be the fan favorite. So she can definitely shine. And, and, and uh, go further. And be highlighted with her new boyfriend. Uh, Simon. Because he's supposed to have all of this. And the third. You know what I'm saying. All this flashy shit. When it wasn't nothing but Flash. That's all it was. Because he don't necessarily, from what I'm hearing out there, is owning anything. Haven't seen the business that he goes into every day or at least twice a week. Haven't seen no business where he's actually trying to do things at home. Haven't seen no good, real, believable pictures of him being a family man to his children. And having a good relationship with his ex-wife. You know, we could have saw all of that. And we could have said, uh, you know... Thank you for giving us an insight on how you do co-parent with your estranged wives and your pretty much estranged children. Because like I said, even when we see the pictures, they're not really showing warmth of love in those um, in those sketch or pictures that they were showing us a array of. Uh, portfolio of and it wasn't the photographer it was just the images he was catching that showed there was no void or there was no fully running over your cup love flowing throughout the pictures it was just like hey that's just what it was they looked in some kind of way the children kind of look okay you know some of them smiled some of them was just you know posing but not really giving any warmth off or any reception a good reception of what they were being told to do they were liking it and you know it's just a mess but you know we catch Jen Dennis he always gonna be smiling throwing up a hey what you doing you know when you seeing another fellow uh male coming in way you know you know giving him a salute and all like that man he just knew it was just done for him and Portia then again it could just be a, a stunt could be a publicity stunt and they might be still trying to get it together and they just got uh Simon as the forerunner but then it's like you hear all these stories of she don't sold a house or now I hear she gonna let Mama Diane stay in the house. She giving the house to her. And I'm like, what happened to Mama Diane house? It got repossessed. It got foreclosed on. What what's going on? I thought she had a house. She had one when you moved in with her after Cordell uh divorce and all that stuff. I'm like, girl. Oh, your mama just love receiving your old stuff, don't she? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, if Dennis does get a shot at the limelight of calling himself moving on up to the east side. That's going to be a sore thing for Portia because she's going to be trying to figure out where he getting all this money. Well, I used to work for Bravo, so I know what kind of spinoff money they giving. And, you know, everybody going to be tuning in, everybody and their mama, because we thought it was a gold mine for Peter to be trying to hard pitch the sale of getting Greg when he was living. Apollo, him, and Todd a show. 
you know the housewives men and that was that was really would have been capitalizing on something you know as a spinoff from the real housewives of atlanta whitney you know what i'm saying but it just showed us how they moving and shaking what they doing how they doing on their professional time and then when they're off how they doing on their off time chilling with the guys you know relaxing winding down from their grueling week of of uh, uh, being a professional person and being a family man but for some reason Andy didn't want to capitalize on that which that would have been a showstopper especially in the black race anyway uh to see successful black men you know uh definitely supporting their wives on their roles of the show of the real housewives of atlanta uh and then it would have been something for it to be shown as the real housewives i mean the real house men of the atlanta housewives branching out hell dense could have been a part of that shit too but it was just you know i don't know and it wasn't on it he wasn't feeling it uh maybe he was kind of jealous you know because it was all heterosexual thing and it didn't showcase any uh gay man but they could have wrote that in too they could have found a nice looking uh gay man or gay couple uh to bring on to the show hell they might need a show like that and that'll bring up more revenue too for the uh franchise uh, because they definitely have given the gay community a voice so why not show their comings and goings and stuff of that nature and put it on the housewives uh, franchise but I guess Andy hadn't got that far because he's trying to skip his ass away skip the loo my darling away from the real housewives of Atlanta thought he was going to CNN and be a real uh, <laughs> journalist commentator but it didn't happen in his favor either because his uh, friend uh Anderson Cooper shut that shit down real, real fast. Okay, even though he did, the, he didn't really follow the proper channels, but he thought he had a, a shoe in with his uh friend, uh Mr. Cooper, that could get him on into that combo job. But he's like, nah, <laughs> nah, buddy, you stick to your soft uh, uh interviewing skills with your entertainment people and that type of uh scenario over there and let the real journalists work the real uh ethical side continue to do what it's too because you too messy you be in messy stuff and, and we don't need the two to integrate at all so but that's all i wanted to say uh y'all um uh, like i said i got it from hustler hustling wise uh over there and uh he was saying allegedly and i'm saying wow. allegedly too it would be great wow. to see Dennis have his spinoff show. I would love to see it myself. He probably can get us give us some more juicy insight on Portia life and how she really gets down. Um just to be a little messy part of it. And then he can show us what he do, you know, when he going around meeting with different diverse businessmen and how they come up with new ventures for him to partake in. And, you know, he can somewhat thank Portia for all the wonderful publicity, uh, even the non-wonderful uh, publicity she's been trying to uh, throw his way. That, you know, he ain't shit, he ain't got nothing, um, what else you call it, uh, he, you know, he a dead beat dad, it, it, this awful picture she's trying to paint of him. You know, the only thing that can really stick is, yeah, he cheated, you know, um. But I'm pretty sure you knew about that because I'm sure he was messing with somebody before uh, you came along and you just saw your way that you wanted him. So now you thought you could take him from that woman, which you probably did. But in the long grand scheme of things, he still made a fool out of you too because he ain't changed. He don't plan on changing right now. He's sowing his wild oaks. You just got in the middle and tried to play him and he was already a part of that playing game and you just got burnt. Sorry, y'all had to take a little swig of my ginger ale. Mouth kind of got a little dry. Uh, <coughs> but, uh, yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to see Dennis branching off. Trying to, uh, what do you call it? Trying to get his, uh, foot into the entertainment business the right way. By showcasing himself and what he has to offer um the television or entertainment scene or seeing positive black man at least handling their business in 
the dollars and cents world and trying to be a single parent and co-parent with the child the mother's child he made the baby with okay but he's gonna always keep it light-hearted he's gonna always have something funny to say and he just has a pleasing personality and i can see why a lot of women are attracted to him not necessarily for his looks but he he ain't that bad on the eyes because i tell you money can definitely bring you up and if you invest that money in yourself your looks and aesthetics whoo honey child please you can look marvelous and which he does do but sometimes he get into these outfits that like my daughter be saying it'd be too tight for his behind <laughs> he needs to know better but you know he he can get it done when he want to get it done and that's when most people you gotta do it when you get ready to do it uh carve that body out how you want it to be carved out but you know he likes to drink he likes to eat and that's where he's gonna get it mostly in his stomach or his face but if y'all want to see Mr. Dennis uh, on a new show of his own, showing up and showing out and, and, and giving us a lot more enjoyable entertainment other than this ratchetness uh, that Portia got us looking at, bringing down her family, friends, and anybody else she can bring down in an ugly light just to get ratings that's not positive. Yeah, you know, it is what it is, okay? But, you know, it wasn't going to last that long. And I don't want to see her get another season, too, unless she's going to show just her life and how she's dealing with Simon. Don't be bringing in her mama. Don't be bringing in Lauren. Don't be bringing in these other extras, you know, to try to make a storyline. She needs to stand on her own like other, um, like Kim Zosiac did, you know. Just let it just be her and her, her family, just PJ, you know, and his family and Simon. That's what we thought we were going to see. And then Dennis trying to come in there and see how they can parent with PJ and him. But this other mess, Porsche been pulling too many people. And that's why her show is shit. And it's gone down the toilet. And we don't want to resurrect it. Unless she's going to do another whole storyline. That's excluding all of the people that look like they want fame. And especially her mama Diane. Because Diane ain't gave her shit. She ain't gave a shit on uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she ain't giving us nothing. And I mean zero. We in the negative with her. Because she can't stand, show, or prove. She can't do anything in my eyes that, that make her deemable as a good mother. And wants to still have the toe of the line and, and make Portia be a better person. than what she's seeing on these social media streets. What she's seeing when she's taping. No checking. No nothing. No moralistic values she's trying to make her realize you must have. Because when this show is dead and gone, uh, long gone, you still dealing with this damn image. That's not positive. Now how is that going to look for your constituents when you're trying to get other lucrative deals? This is what they're going to see you as. You know, negative, negative, negative. So, I mean, you're 40 years old. And how, many more, how many more years you going to need to mature, Portia? How many more? And your best seller done went from thirty some dollars to a solid thirteen dollars. Okay, if you don't believe me, check it out on Barnes and Nobles. Now I'm here in Atlanta, so I'm only going on my avenue or what the cost is down here for her book at a well known publishing company as far as Barnes and Nobles. So y'all let y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh mess, okay? And I'll be back with another video. You know nothing. Don't stop me. Don't stop this choo-choo train. Not when I got my family as my gang. See how I got that done, y'all. <laughs> Alright, but I'll see y'all next video. Y'all know when y'all come in the house, hit that like button. That's the doorbell, okay? That's your interest in. Because you know I'm going to ask you throughout the whole video. Did you did you ring the doorbell? Did you drop my uh, like button? Did you hit it, honey? Before you go in there in the kitchen and try to straighten out some stuff and sit down and have a chit chat with me. Damn. And don't forget when you leave, you know, and pick up your shoes or whatever you're going out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right. And share. Sharing is caring. All right. We need more like-minded people over here. Or, you know, indifferent people. It doesn't matter as long as they're respectful. But we need to have a conversation and not just be me over here. Okay. But like and love, we got to have more. Y'all tune in for the next video. Good night.